Good morning, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over five of the best gold farming classes. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the five best gold farming classes that you should probably be using for your gold farming. Now, this is gold farming specific, not gold making. So other than that guys, let's just jump into number one, which is the Rogue. Now the Rogue has a lot of utilities when it comes towards gold farming, and this is because of his sprint abilities, his stealth abilities, and his other different types of abilities going forward. Now let's just jump onto sprint abilities. Now I specifically have a Worgen Rogue, this is because they have two speed boosts. That means I can speed around a dungeon double as fast as someone else. Now, that being the case, built with a speed set, this makes it for incredibly efficient farming. And also, along with that, his AoE abilities for farming stuff up is incredibly good as well. Now, I find this to be quite helpful for getting around different types of dungeons in a very short amount of time. And obviously, I like to clear out a dungeon as fast as possible and kill as many mobs as possible before I hit lockout. This is why I prefer to use a rogue for different types of farming, and I would suggest you do the same as well. Now, aside from that, the other things of note that you can be using with a rogue is utilizing his lock picking abilities. Now, when you're actually farming up loads of transmog dungeons, you tend to get a lot of lock boxes. Now, a lot of people actually do vendor these. Now, they can contain some really high end transmogs, can contain some really high end transmogs, but they're worth opening up. Using your rogue's lock picking abilities, you don't have to buy like a skeleton key or anything like that. You can basically just bypass all of that and just use your lock picking abilities to open those crates up. Now, I find this to be a very helpful way in order to actually gain additional transmog when I'm farming up transmog, because then I'll just backlog a load of lock boxes and opening up a load in one session. So that being the case, that is the rogue at number one. Now coming in at number two is the hunter. Now the hunter is a great farming character, not for dungeons however. I wouldn't say they're that good at dungeon farming, but for open world farms they are brilliant. Mainly for their ability to just do large amounts of AoE damage at long range. This makes them amazing for gathering up loads of mobs in one go and just burning them down. Along with that, using their pets, they can actually use that to actually gather up loads of mobs while you're actually gathering up other mobs at the same time, so you can do like double the amount, so to speak. Not really double, but it's very helpful in order to use. Aside from that, it's mainly just the burst damage that they're able to just do on a widespread basis, which makes it a very good pick in order to actually farm up open world mobs. And in conjunction with group farms, they are primarily one of the best at doing mass amounts of AoE. I find this to be quite helpful when I'm doing my farming, and always when we've got a hunter, we'll be killing more mobs, and I have noticed this over the time of just doing basic farming. So overall, I really love the hunter, and I'm just keeping this one short and sweet because hunter's just great at doing mass AoE. So that's the hunter at number two. At number three, we have the warrior. Now, the warrior is great for a load of different varieties of farming. Now, primarily, I prefer to use these for dungeon farming, mainly because it's easier to build a speed set with, as the most gear is catered towards a warrior, such as, take for instance, the blue Rune Blade of Rivendare. Basically, that, that thing gives you a 10% movement speed increase when you actually use it, and you can attach that to your warrior because it's a two-handed sword. Other different types of things that you can be using, however, on this is by using your Heroic Leap, which also gives you a speed boost, and so does a wide variety of other different moves that increase your movement speed as well. I find this to be really helpful, and using my charge abilities, I can get around a dungeon very fast and kill a load of mobs. Now, I can use nice little melee over AoE in order to burn mobs down and keep running. I find this to be very helpful when actually farming up dungeons, and Warrior, I primarily love the Warrior for just dungeon and raid farming overall, just for their simplicity of their movement speed along with their AoE. 
Along with that, warriors do tend to have a more higher health-wise and they can take a lot more, sustain a lot more hits. So I find these to be great methods in order to farm harder dungeons and raids, such as like the Legion raids, whereas my whereas my priest would struggle with some of them and my warrior can just be like, Pff, ha ha ha. Uh, I find this to be a great way of, in which to actually farm dungeons up, is by utilising my warrior and then using his speed abilities to get around the dungeon pretty fast and just burn all of those mobs down in a relatively short amount of time. That being the case, that is the warrior at number three. Now coming in at number four is the druid. Now obviously, I use a druid pretty much all the time and it goes without saying that they are heavily an amazing utility class. Due to the fact that they have speed increases when it comes to towards their cat form and using like Tiger's Dash in order to get around dungeon even faster, using their swipe ability for AoE. I primarily love the Druid. Now along with gathering farms, they are insanely great. That is because they can utilize herbalism by not actually dismounting when they're actually farming with herbalism. And they have a nice little couple of upticks when it comes towards their travel forms. Now take for instance the Wintergrass farm. If you are dismounted and you have been dismounted you're going to find it harder to mount up and fly around farming up like winter grass or something. Now with a druid you can just press the button out of travel form and then press it again and that debuff has been completely negated and you can fly and farm around winter grass even when a battle's on without any hassle. It's basically just D -d -d, and then you're fine again. It's really that dead simple for farming things up. Along with that, they are primarily one of the best gathering classes in conjunction with herbalism and mining. And I do find these to be one of classes that you should be using primarily for herbalism and, and mining. This is because they are just pretty much well adept at mining all that stuff and there's no surprise why ever why a wide variety of people use druids in order to farm up different types of materials coming in at number five we have the demon hunter yes i know uh the demon hunter is great for dungeon and raid farming mainly due to the fact of their of their dash abilities where they're able to propel themselves forward and do damage at the exact same time. I use this to line up mobs by the time I get over to them, I dash, kill them and keep going. This is because I can then kill, loot and keep going at a high speed around a dungeon and I can usually clear a dungeon pretty damn sharpish. Especially if I built a mediocre speed set, I can still get around that incredibly fast and I don't have to worry about all of this. Take for instance the Black Fathom Depths where you would have to traverse loads of different types of things. I can just double jump and then dash over and completely bypass the entire thing, shortening my runs of that per hour, which means I can then get to the mobs that are worthwhile farming and then I can just jump out and reset the instance as and when I see fit. This is primarily really helpful and also along with that, they do have a great amount of sustain due to the fact that when they deal damage, they are able to produce little health pools which top up their health. This is great and no wonder a lot of people use this for freehold boosting and also just in general farming up by things like freehold in order to stay alive. They are able to take on harder hitting mobs and deal insane amounts of damage and also along with that they are able to clear things most other classes cannot. This is primarily very good for doing higher level content stuff in order to get hold of those higher end materials which you can then sell in the auction house or otherwise known as transmog as well. Aside from that, I find the Demon Hunter's double jump and glide abilities to be exceedingly helpful in some raids and dungeons and I find this to be an easy way of traversing different types of terrain as well. To be honest, it's the double jump that makes everything worthwhile because you're able to jump over things that not many other classes can do without using some weird technique or they would have to use the RP events and all that stuff. We can just bypass that and I find that to be one of the most handiest ways in order to farm up something and shortening the time in which you can be farming for. So it's very easy to make sure that you're gonna get the nice bang for your buck for that time invested. So overall, that is Demon Hunter last on our list. Now what do you think is the best 
gold farming class. I would like to hear what you guys think down in the comment section down below, as this is my own opinion based list. And overall, I find that these classes to be pretty damn good in order to farm up stuff. Other than that guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.